Hey guys and welcome to the Hackenons YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand the Python super along with the init method in object oriented programming. So without further wasting time, let's get started. To understand the basic functioning of the super function in Python, we need to know how classes work. So basically class is like a blueprint that is designed that can have attributes and methods. So basically what I've done is I've simply created a class and I've named it as class A and the class has a class variable that is class var1 and it simply points to a string type data type of class variable A. Then I have the init method that gets initialized or more than anything I can call it as the constructor and then I've got two init variables that is class var1 and self.unique. So firstly, let's try to create another class and I'll call it as class b and within that I will be inheriting the class a from it. And what I'm going to do is first thing is I'm going to change the class var. I'm create, going to create a variable called as class var2 is equal to class variable b. Okay. And now let's call, let's create an object of class a. Uh, from the class and now let's create an object called class B and now that's come that's done now what we need to do is we will call the class object B and we'll try to access its class var method so what I'll say is B dot class var 1 okay and now just try to figure out what would be the output on the screen so let me just print it on the output window and as you can see it says inside class A's constructor so let's try to understand where did that come from. So what Python did is ran the class B and seen that the class B has no init method. So it went into the parent class that is class A and it went inside the init method and found the class var1. And that is what we printed over here. And that is why from here the output that is inside class A's in constructor is usable. Now likewise if I try to comment this code if I try to comment this code and if I run this, it says class variable A. So basically now what it's doing is it can't find any method of, of class var1 inside the init method. That is why it goes to the class variable and it prints class variable A. And even if I try to comment this and now if I run it, it will just give an error because it's not able to find any class variable 1. But likewise, if I try to change this data to 1, then it finally goes into the class B's methods and then it searches for the class var1 and that is getting printed on the output window. So it's as simple as that. So let me recommend these codes back again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the init method and let's say I just call this init method. And now the thing is I do not want to change this unique keyword because I want it to be same. Let's say maybe it's some password of some user. So we do not want to override that value. So I'll delete that, but I just want to override this self dot class var one. And I'll say inside class B's constructor. Now, if I try to run this code, the output window, it shows inside class B's constructor, because what we're doing is we are simply creating the init method. And then we're wrapping the self dot class var variable to the given data pointing inside the class B. Now what let's say I want to access this method that is self dot unique that so let me try to print that value and I'll say B dot unique and as you can see it throws out an error saying that attribute error that the B object has no attribute unique even though we are trying to inherit from the class A. So to basically inherit that method we need to use something called as super. So basically super is this keyword that will help us to extract data from the parent class. So what I'm going to say is super open close the bracket dot underscore underscore in it. So basically we are initializing the supers method of the parent class A. And now if I try to run this code, as you can see, it prints B dot unique and that is visible as the output window. If I try to change this, let's say my save world. It's just a random text. And now if I print it, 
it simply says my safe world so basically we are accessing the self.unic using the classes super method likewise it depends upon when we import this super method so if i am importing the super method before calling the classes self.var method let me show you what happens and if i am printing that so i am printing the objects class var1 and it says now we are inside classes b constructor now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this and place it after the self call so that is below it and now if i run it it simply prints inside class a's constructor because what happened is self.var took the value from the parent class that is a class.var and after that the super method was ran because of which this object method did not have any existence in the code so that's it from this video if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the hackinons youtube channel for more fun and interesting videos